first thing I do is to check whether I've got any bent shafts. I know I've got one. I felt the resistance when I was pulling the uh, shaft out, and that's usually a clear sign. But what you can also do by rolling them, you can see that this one here doesn't like to roll easily, where the others, these are all quite dirty and a little bit magnetised. I always find they get a little bit magnetised when they've been used for a while. Roll reasonably well. That's actually a little bit bent as well. I'm a bit surprised about that one. Let's just check these other two. That one really is fine. And that one really is fine. So I'm actually going to discard these two. Yes, if you've got a, uh, a good workshop and some really good straight metal, you could. Obviously, you've got to keep the head off when you just, but you could with fine tapping, you can straighten these. These are reusable, uh, but I'm putting them in my discard pile. So I've got myself, luckily, I had a few here, a couple of brand new shafts. So they're the four I'm going to be using. Now is also the time to give your cogs and your gears a really good inspection. What will probably help you do this? There's a bit of bit of white paper and at the end of the day feeling and looking very very closely now i've already noticed some damage on this cog there's a, a tooth damaged there nothing drastic and uh, a little bit of damage on that one so i'm probably going to replace that one let's just quickly again spin this one around looks good go on the good side and another one looks good and another one. So I think I've had a couple that have got damaged, whether it was all to do with this crash or not, not 100% sure. And that also looks good. So certainly I've had damage to uh, this cog here. It's, uh, I can see it also edge on. It's a little bit worn and uh, I've got some shorter cogs. So somewhere along the uh, damage that occurs, uh, caused the break, it looks like one of these really got dented, possibly two. I've had one obviously uh, quite badly bent shaft pin and another one damaged as well and it looks like one of the uh, the main cogs has also been damaged so I'm now going to go ahead and using my uh, lineup pattern regards to what goes where um, pre prepare and place all the new shafts and cogs and gears and the correct blades the correct A's and C's onto the uh, onto the right ends